All right, imagine you're in Chicago right now celebrating. And now you're under the Sears Tower. You're trying to go up to the observation deck. So you're pressing the elevator buttons, but nothing is happening. Are the elevators broken? Actually, that's the same question I have been asking. The photoreceptor cells are cells in our eyes that allow us to see. In order to capture light, they build this very tall structure by folding their membrane layer by layer, like making floors inside a skyscraper. They make these floors because they want to put as many light-sensing proteins as they can. But proteins are made in the production factory of the cell at the lower part. So how do they get up there? Wouldn't it be great if there's elevators to transport proteins for them? Actually, they do have elevators. The elevators we take are made out of metal, but the elevators of photoreceptor cells are made out of proteins. It's a cluster of protein called the BB zone. So when you look at photoreceptor cells under a microscope, you can actually see the horizontal floors, but you can also see thin vertical filaments. And these filaments are actually the elevator cables. So in your eyes right now, there's millions and millions of the world's fastest elevators transporting your proteins in order to give you vision. Unfortunately, one in 40,000 of us have a genetic defect that caused their elevators to fall apart. And these patients are completely blind. So my thesis is to study this blindness by taking away the elevator complex in mice and see what happens. I found something surprising. Just take a look at this picture. What's happening to the floors? What happened to the tall structure? In order to understand that, just imagine the last time you played Jenga. And you have this really tall structure. Each block is like an important structural protein, keeping all the floors horizontal. And now imagine you're about to remove that one block, and the whole thing just <laughs> So we think this might be what's happening. An important structural protein is missing. Why is it missing? It's at the bottom of the cell, trying to press the elevator button, trying to get up to the floors. But the elevators of the photoreceptor cells are out of service. Can we prevent the Jenga structure from collapsing? In fact, I discovered that if you intervene early enough by putting the elevator back into the photoreceptor cells, they can regrow and rebuild the structure. So now we know. Proteins in photoreceptor cells needs to take elevators too. So that way, we can design a therapy to repair these photoreceptor cells. The patients will go blind, but we can change them. Can I ask some questions? So tell us a little bit more about yourself and your background. Um, I'm actually from Taiwan. It's a very small island. They, I one time found uh, you can fit six Taiwans in Lake Michigan, so that's how small it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> so how did you get interested in your research? Um, I actually started doing a different project, and I kind of stumbled into this, and I was imaging, and I saw these structures just collapsing, and we have no idea why, and it just, I just have to study it. Okay. So did you always want to study photoreceptor cells? Uh, actually, no, I want to be an artist. An artist? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but that did not work out. No? <laughs> <laughs> do you still do any art? Uh, I do photography, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, but thank God they in, uh, uh, invented digital camera because I used to develop tons of pictures, and that was outside of my budget. Okay. Um, so when you're not working, what do you do? Um, I play volleyball. I also play some board games and oh. Jenga. Okay, we might have to start with <laughs> We might have to start a board game club after today. <laughs> um, that's going to meet afterwards at 6 o'clock. Um, so what do you see yourself doing in five years? Uh, I want to have a lab on the beach, preferably. A lab on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> OK, with, the, with board games in the break room and yeah. some art set up in the back. Yeah, too. board games in the lab with the beach. And yeah, that's my dream. OK, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.